Based on the problems that you just worked on in the Assessment Center, you received a preliminary recommendation of Math 87, Quantitative Literacy. This course was specifically designed to help students to prepare for an algebra course. Math 87 spends time continuing to develop skills with fractions, percents, and proportions. The course will also introduce positive and negative numbers, and by the end of the class you will learn how to use variables to solve simple equations. You will look at real-world applications to practice and develop these math skills. You'll never have to ask when would anyone ever use this. Now because this recommendation was based just on a few math problems done on a single day, you may want to consider the class below or above your Math 87 recommendation instead. If you're concerned that your math background is too weak, you might choose to register for ABED 40, Adult Basic Education Math. ABED 40 focuses on working with and understanding the basic math operations of adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. You will look at real-world applications to practice and develop these math skills. This course will also introduce fractions, decimals, percents, and proportions. Keep in mind, though, that taking a lower-level math class will add some time to your degree path. You would need to go from ABED 40 to Math 87 to Math 98 and finally to your 100 level math course, but it might help you become a stronger student and raise your confidence. If you'd like more information about ABED 40 course and how to get started, stop by the Academic Support Center located inside the library. On the other hand, if you have taken algebra at some point in your life before, you should seriously consider registering for the one class higher, Math 98 Essentials of Intermediate Algebra. This class will focus on developing the algebra skills that you will need for Math 107 and Math 146. In this class, you'll look at solving all types of equations, including linear and quadratic equations, equations with fractions, square roots, and exponents, all as part of real-world applications. If your math program allows Math 102, you could take that instead. Choosing to take Math 102 or Math 98 will save you time and money from taking an extra course but be aware that you may have some weak areas in your background. Be ready to put in some extra time in reviewing concepts before classes start. Plan to visit the tutoring center or your instructor's office hours for those times that you need extra help. Signing up for Math 98 or Math 102 directly means that you are confident that you've learned about fractions, percentages, and positive and negative numbers working with simple equations and formulas, and you're just willing to put in extra time and effort if needed to succeed. I hope that it's helped, this has helped you to introduce you to the math options that you have available. It is now time to choose a class that will mark the beginning of your math pathway. You will want to choose a class where you will feel comfortably challenged. Don't choose an easy class where you've already learned the material. That will add extra time and money to your educational plan. But don't choose a class where you've never learned the prerequisite skills that you will need to be using in that class either, or your course will be a frustrating struggle and you may not be successful. Don't forget to take advantage of the great resources we have available here at LW Tech, including support services for veterans or for first-generation college students, as well as free math tutoring for all of our students. Still have questions about which math course would be best for you? Talk to your advisor or reach out to one of the math faculty here on campus. We are always happy to help. Welcome to Lake Washington Tech. Hope to see you in a math class soon.